Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video I thought I'd show the process of me trying to build this um, reflection pond for the birds in my garden. Hopefully I was thinking I'd be able to get some photos of the birds bathing in there um, and maybe even get some reflection as well and I just thought that would be awesome. I'm currently sat, so I'll just show you, in my conservatory and I've got my camera and I'm basically, the reflection pond is just out there. The birds are used to us sort of hanging around in the conservatory, so I'm essentially using this as a hide and I've got my camera ready to go. So uh, yeah, it's um, quite effective. So just to give you an idea of what the pictures will actually look like, I've taken a few test shots with a little stick which I've placed in the middle of the pond um, and you can sort of see what it would look, look like if there was a bird in there bathing. Um, initially, I actually had to take the table forward closer to the conservatory because it was too far away and I'll show you those pictures so you can sort of see you're not really getting that depth of field. I've brought the table closer and now when I'm focusing on either the stick or on the log behind the um, reflection pond, you get that really nice depth of field. And because we've got this green tree in the background there, you're, I'm also getting a really nice green background. This may actually end up just being a a perch photography spot really and I may not even use the port the the um the pond but it was good to try it out either way. So the only problem I found with my reflection pond is it's a bit too short um, so I struggled to really pull out the depth of field. Uh, but not only that we have a pond at the back of the garden and uh, the birds that come to my garden on a regular basis are already used to using the pond as a bath. So for that reason um, potentially they're not going to choose to use my um, reflection pond uh, as a bath and um, I have just to sort of entice them and persuade them to come over I've put down some seed on the log at the back so hopefully I'm, I'm hoping um, that they will come and land and just eat the seed and just realize basically that it's actually quite safe um, uh, but we'll, we'll see I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here for a few days it may take a while for them to just actually be brave enough to sort of fly in and land and uh, get comfortable enough to actually have a bath in there. And if I do manage to get anything, I'll post the pictures up on um, my Instagram. But I really just wanted to make this video to show that if you have got a garden uh, that hasn't got a pond or any kind of water or anything like that, it's a great idea to build some kind of pond, even if it isn't a reflection pond, uh, just, a, just a little bird bath. I've put my reflection pond onto a table so that it's raised above the off the ground and more at eye level. So that really uh, is good for two purposes. One, the birds feel much safer being raised off the ground um, because obviously when they're on the ground they're a lot uh, a lot more vulnerable towards being eaten by predators and things like that. Also, it then gives you an advantage when you're getting your photographs because it brings the birds to eye level. So as you can see. The, the backdrop is actually quite nice. And if I was to take away the log, um, I may even get a better backdrop. So I might have a little play around with that and uh, see, see what happens. Still no birds have arrived. So I think I might be here for a while just watching the reflection pond that I've built today. I could be here for a few days waiting for any birds to, to come along. So I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, so this was one of those videos that I sort of started making thinking it was going to be a great idea. And then sort of halfway through, I was like, this is terrible. Uh, but I had already started the video and I figured, you know, once I've started doing something, I really don't like to just sort of stop halfway through. So I had to finish it. So here we are. Um, I know it's not particularly the best video I've ever made, but I, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, so either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and if you're thinking of doing something like this, I definitely recommend it, even if it's just for the wildlife's sake, because the birds will appreciate it um, for sure. So, yeah.